Satan's Listen. true name is God. We are not supposed to be calling upon the name God, and I'm going to show you. So I'm reading from the book of Enoch, which was removed from our Bibles. This is referring to a type of angels and their names. And the third was named Godriel, or shortened would be God. He it is who shone the children of men all the blows of death, and he led astray Eve. So this is literally talking about Satan, the one who led astray Eve, right, in the garden. His true name is Godriel, which shortened would be God. Now if you go on Google and you type in God definition, you'll see this little name pop up next to it, G-A-D, God. The same way it's pronounced in Enoch with that little vowel point above the A. Now look at this. Baal God means Lord of Fortune. Why do you think on the back of our money it says in God we trust? It's not talking about the most high of the Bible. Right. It's a reference to Satan, the evil one. Knowledge is power. Now check this out. Every time you see Baal in the scriptures, it actually is just the Hebrew word for Lord. So we're not supposed to be calling him Lord either. All right, go into the Blue Letter Bible, click on Baal, and you will see it literally means Lord, which is the name they planted over the name Yahuwah 7,000 times in the scriptures. That's right. Every time you see in all caps, the Lord, it was originally his name. That's right. Yahuwah. If you don't believe me, go fact check me. I have studied to show myself approved. That's right. I'm revealing to you guys what I have found. Don't shoot the messenger. Now remember what I said. We're not supposed to be calling him Lord because it actually means Baal. Go to Jeremiah 23 verse 27. His true name is Yermiyahu. Who attempt to cause my people to forget my name for Baal. Oh, praise us. Or Lord. Remember guys, Satan is literally the father of lies. That's right. Look at this. However, the word Baal means Lord. Look it up. Right, a proper terminology would be Elohim or Elohim. It means mighty one. But we should really be calling upon his name. Now, I can confidently say that the Most High knows our hearts. Right, and he is abundant with grace and mercy. But now that you have this information, do your research on the name of Yahuwah and pray about it. All right, don't treat this pearl like a swine. You all need to study to show thyself approved, right? That is a duty that we all have. That's right. So don't just push this aside and continue to say, God, go do some research and prayer. I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like and follow.